Hey, I'm Jan Jones from Climax, Georgia. It's the second to last week of May, week before Memorial Day, so we're at the end of May. We're a little bit behind where we usually are in our planting season. Dad and I have decided to, um, to kind of divide and conquer cotton and peanuts. I'm planting cotton and he's planting peanuts and, you know, we're, we're going as fast as we can. It's been a, um, a very chaotic last week. Since the beginning of May, we have had two, um, two sets of five inch rains pretty much within a week of each other. So it's that really threw a wrench into our plans. Um, before the first rain, I had planted um, roughly like 65 acres of cotton. There's a, there's a little bit of a wash issue, especially around the terrace and on the ends, but nothing that I can't live with. Um, the biggest issue is that I'm seeing um, some damage with like chemical burn, reflex burn. And it's just, it, it's because of all that rain. So really, I wasn't able to get back on the cotton planter until this past Monday. So from Monday to now, which is Thursday, I've planted like the, basically the whole rest of the crop. It's, it's been a lot of really long days <laughs> and long nights on the, the planter. So basically what the setup is, so I, I plant the cotton and then before the cotton emerges from the ground, you go over it with a herbicide spray to help keep control of things like pigweed and um, nutgrass and turnips and all of those things that you don't want in a cotton field. And the spray that I'm using, you can spray it before the cotton emerges and it won't hurt the cotton and it's got a, a residual um, to the spray so it'll last longer. I won't have to spray as often because I, hopefully I'll be able to get this spray out. Um, but you don't want to spray it on the cotton because it will kill it. Um, another factor, so right now in Southwest Georgia, we have a high pressure system that is like basically just staying on top of us. We've had um, about, it, it's been a good uh, week of just really dry conditions and a lot of wind. Um, wind is not a good condition for spraying because you don't want drift especially with a herbicide. Um, so I'm just, I'm hoping that I can kind of work around it and get the spray out in a safe way, but also, you know, in a, in a timely manner. In a perfect year, if I were able to like plan this by the calendar, I would already be finished with cotton. You know, I usually, I want to get started about the second week in May and then be done by now. Um, but I will say my planter has done a really good job this year. It has, everything has, fingers crossed, everything has held together and um, we haven't had like any major breakdowns yet. Uh, hopefully it'll stay that way. So even though I'm behind, it's not, it's not like, I'm not, a, I'm not sh very stressed out about it. <laughs> so just to kind of wrap up planting season, Right now, I've still got a good bit of moisture in the ground. Um, a lot of our cotton acres are non-irrigated, so they're very dependent on weather. Um, the irrigated fields, I mean, you still, you have weather issues with them, but since you have irrigation, you're kind of able to water it as it's, as it's needed. Um, so yeah, so everything's looking good. Um, those fields that I planted on Monday, they're just under the surface. They're, they're going to pop up by tomorrow morning, I hope. Um, you know, I, <laughs> I'm happy with the weather that I have today, but by like Tuesday, I would like to have some rain to, uh, to help get everything off to a, a running start. So we'll just have to see how it goes.